If you're confused about which Lenovo Flex 3 Chromebook to go for, or you're just interested in differences between the two latest generations, then hopefully this video is for you. So I'm going to compare the Generation 5 Flex 3 and the Generation 6 Flex 3. You can see my full reviews on both of these linked in the video description down below, and also links to Lenovo.com for the full specs of both. In this video, I'm going to focus on the key differences between them to help you decide which might be best for you. So here I have the Gen 5 Flex 3 on the right in abyss blue with the Intel Celeron N4020 processor launched back in 2020. And on the left in Arctic Grey, we've got the Gen 6 Flex 3 with the Intel Celeron N4500. There's also a Pentium Silver N6000 version. This was launched in 2021. You can also get the Gen 6 in the same abyss blue as I have the Gen 5 here. And there's also an almond colour for the Gen 5. For performance and battery life, they're both great for a Chromebook, but the Gen 6 Flex 3 obviously has the advantage. If you Google the two uh, processors to compare them, you can see that clearly the newer Gen 6 has got the edge with that N4500 processor. Being a newer machine as well, the Gen 6 also gets two additional years of Chrome OS updates all the way through to June 2029. That's compared to the Gen 5, which will see updates until June 2027. So there is a difference in weight. The Gen 6 is about 60 grams heavier than the Gen 5, but it's pretty subtle and I think it maybe distributes it better. There's also the difference in the materials, especially of the lid. So the Gen 5 was a bit more premium feeling with uh, aluminium or aluminum lid, but it did act as a bit of a fingerprint magnet. For the Gen 6, they've gone back to plastic and they've also got this two-tone finish with the textured side, which I do think looks pretty cool. Other key differences include the fact you get an HDMI port on the Gen 6 Flex 3, but you do lose the additional USB-C port that the Gen 5 had, allowing you to charge on either side of the device so you could have it set up however you liked on your desk. Keep in mind that both are still going to support display out over USB-C. You just need to get an adapter or a hub, and you can see a link in the video description if you're not sure what to look for there. You can see the keyboard deck has had a slight revision on the Gen 6 Flex 3 2, with the Gen 6 being very slightly narrower. It seems to have a couple of key positions that are that bit closer. And the keys feel like they're even more shallow uh, than on the previous Gen 5, which is really a personal preference. And the trackpad uh, is still really good quality, but it's slightly offset to bring it centered against the space bar on the Gen 6, rather than the Gen 5 that you can see just centered it against the full width of the body of the machine. They've also changed the speaker position in the Gen 6. You can see it's now this central bar at the top of the keyboard deck, rather than being the two separate speakers underneath either of the feet at the front of the machine on the Gen 5. You'd think that would have improved the sound, but it actually seems a bit quieter, even though the speakers are the same spec. Uh, so let's see, let's play you a clip from the end of one of my other videos first on the Gen 5, and then I'm going to play it to you on the Gen This is now my go-to power bank, so I think it's pretty easy to recommend. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. The Gen 6 Flex 3 also introduces a webcam privacy shutter in the form of a manual slide, which is brilliant to see. And it also supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1 compared to Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 4.2 on the Gen 5 Flex 3. So I hope knowing all these differences will help you select the right Chromebook. And for another comparison video between two 11.6 inch Chromebooks, check out this next video.